Hello guys, I'm the author of Tinkoki Mapper. On this video I'm going to show you one of the latest additions I've done to my application. This is a set of uh, four floating icons that show what is on top of your applications. Especially useful if you are full screen and you don't have physical buttons to go back, home, invoke the mapper, um, launch other applications, reboot your device, uh, change your screen resolution, uh, screen orientation and, another, uh, and other small things. So, um, yeah, just to use them you just uh, click on any of them. The third, the launcher, uh, just lists all your installed applications. At the beginning of the list you have your currently running applications. So you just click on any of them and it shows, right? Um, I can go now go home again. Now more interesting is the toolbox. The toolbox has a function to go to the uh, KeyMapper editor. So it's another way to go to the editor. You don't have access to your notification area or you don't have a key sequence defined and you have a touch screen. Well, this is just another way to open the editor. You just click on it and you are in the editor. You can just apply the configuration and you are back in your uh, device screen. Um, more is uh, the launcher, I, I just showed it, so it's just a list of your uh, running applications. And now we have here options to control your screen, screen resolution, screen orientation and toggle full screen. Toggle full screen goes full screen if you click on it. So this should go away now. There it is, so you are on totally full screen. You can go home and you can go to the toolbox again. If I click on it again, I come back from full screen. Yes. Okay. And others are screen orientation. So you can force the orientation of your device at any moment. So let's say we can make it portrait now. Now I can go again and screen orientation and specified for instance and it will be just the standard. Okay, now uh, we have also a screen res resolution and beware with the screen resolution that this doesn't work on all devices. On some devices you can also maybe change the DPI but you cannot change the, the uh, width and height or the other way around. So you have to experiment a bit yourself. You can set the values directly here or you can just use uh, this uh, list. So for instance we were in the case of this is the match uh, i5 it's uh, 280 by 720 um, so you can change it maybe to something like uh, 1080 to make everything very small. Uh, yes, this one for instance. I apply and the screen now resolution changes. I accept and there it is. Everything is now super small. Um, As you can see, now I can go to again to uh, screen resolution. If you don't uh, keep, uh, you have a confirmation dialog uh, with the screen resolution. So if you don't confirm, it will revert to the standard one, uh, just in case it's a safety measure. Also, if you apply a bad, a bad resolution and you reset your device, possibly that resolution is still going to be there, but when the mapper is started, it will also try to revert it to the to the standard resolution. So just there are always methods to uh, to recover uh, yourself from a situation in which you have a resolution you really don't want, and maybe everything is too big and you cannot you are not able to to click on any any button or anything. Well, don't don't worry because there is always a way to solve that. Um, so I can now reset and come back to the standard resolution for this device. And uh, what else we have here? Scheme orientation and power reboot. So we have here a menu to, to do some uh, shoot down, reboot, and reboot to recovery, reboot to bootloader. So four options. Well, I think this is pretty handy. I'm using it a lot. I hope it's also useful for you. 
And if you have any questions or remarks, uh, just send me an email. I will be very happy to answer and help you if it's needed. Cheers.